My, my question is for Dr. Dahmer. You, you were saying that uh, uh, you were thinking that the, the process of uh, capturing and dissipating light was where life really got kickstarted. My question is, is in the, in the really Earth early, early Earth environment, you would have had a lot of UV uh, uh, photons hitting the Earth. Your polyaromatic hydrocarbons are strong absorbers and dissipators of that type of energy. Do, do you think that that is a, a possible mechanism, that, that these polyaromatic hydrocarbons are absorbing them, dissipating them, and forming some sort of dissipative structure to, to retain them, and, as opposed to having yeah, that's degradating effects? It, it, precisely. Um, in fact, uh, it, for years it used to be believed in our field that high ultraviolet was detrimental because if you, know, if you go out, in this, especially out here and you don't have sunscreen and you're really sensitive, you're, you kill your sin, skin cells and you get sunburn, right? It's pretty tough on biology, but that's because biology uses long string polymers that get broken easily. But in the early, in the, say the progenian epoch, there would be very short polymers doing one job, or what are floating around, and so they're way less sensitive to UV. And it, Sutherland's group in the UK have shown that UV chemistry can actually create uh, ready-to-go nucleotides. There's a pathway, so now the entire field really is, is turned back to the warm little pond. And yes, uh, Dave Diemer pr wrote a paper about 20 years ago that said polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons that could have been the first pigment. So you can imagine that if you go through, if you took a biologist and a geologist through a time portal back 4.1 billion years, they would find a pool full of sludge. The geologist would say, I can't break that with a rock hammer, so it's not geology. The biologist would, would pipette that and look at it. It's like, it's just full of a bunch of random junk. It's not biology. It's not geology. It's not biology. And then they, they come back 100,000 years later, and all the sludge has gone black. It's like black, which is stromatolites have this black pigment, a lot of them, on the coast. And then so the geologist says, well, it's still not hard, so it's not a rock, and I don't care about it. It's just sludge. And, but the biologist pipettes that in the sequences, and he finds a little genetic sequence, a little DNA-like thing that winds and unwinds with hot water, and it makes some kind of a pigment, and that's why they're all black. Evolution's underway. Now they're capturing energy, and now they're free to go to any aqueous environment. So that, that's just a prediction.